Have you ever wanted to get in contact with a YouTuber but were unsuccessful? In this video, I'm going to show you 10 different ways to get in contact with other YouTubers. I'll also discuss why you may not immediately get a reply and some common mistakes you need to avoid. Keep in mind that most YouTube creators are very busy, so you may not get a reply right away. Plus, it also depends on what kind of help you need. Here are some ways to get answers to general or specific questions about your channel. This doesn't include business inquiries. The best way to get a reply to a specific question about the content in the video is to ask the question in the comments. Most creators will reply to questions that are asked in the comments. Another method is to ask your question in the community tab. All you have to do is go to the home page of the YouTuber and click on the community tab. Scroll through some of the posts and see if your question is related to any of that content, then post your question. Another popular way to ask a question in a YouTuber is to post your question in the Facebook group. I like this method a lot because if it's a popular question, it can also help other people in the Facebook group. If you want to join my Facebook group, Two Video Bootcamp, click the link in the description below this video. There's over a thousand like-minded creators in there that you can interact with. I also share tips and tricks in the group that are not included in my videos. Another way to ask a question to a YouTube creator is to reply to the YouTube stories. For example, I share a 15 second tip on YouTube strategies every day on my YouTube stories. If you want to receive those tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check all notifications. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried to contact a YouTuber privately and got a reply? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. The best way to contact a YouTuber privately is to go to their about page on the YouTube channel. Just click on their about page, click view email address next to business inquiries. Make sure this is a business inquiry like a collaboration or creating a sponsored video. When you send a message through this email form, make sure it's not a spammy message. Otherwise, it'll go to spam or it won't get replied to you. Keep in mind that big YouTubers often receive hundreds of emails from companies and individuals. So you may not get a reply right away and you may have to exercise some patience. Some other methods to contact a YouTuber is through their social media sites. You can often see their social media links on the about page or in the description below their videos. For example, if they have a Twitter account, you can send them a tweet. If they have an Instagram account, you can follow them on Instagram and send them a direct message. If they have a LinkedIn account, you can request to be part of the network and contact them via LinkedIn. Another way to contact a YouTuber directly is to go to their website or blog. Visit their contact or about page to see if there's an email address. There may be a contact form that you need to fill out to begin the communication. For example, on my about page, I invite people to fill out a form to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. By the way, if you want to book a one-hour coaching call with me to discuss how you can grow your channel this year, click the link in the description below this video. Here are three mistakes that people make when trying to contact a YouTuber. Number one, asking sub for sub. This is where a person asks you to subscribe to their channel in return for them subscribing to your channel. This is against YouTube's terms of service and may result in the termination of your channel. Number two, sending an email that is not a business inquiry. Specific questions can be asked in the comments, community tab, or in the Facebook group. Personally, I prefer questions to be asked in the Facebook group so other people can benefit from the answers. Number three, avoid sending spam emails. If you email on YouTube about doing a collaboration, Make sure you offer great value first instead of just saying, I want to do a collaboration. They're not going to do a collaboration with you if the content doesn't offer value to their audience. Hey Herman, what are the best ways to contact YouTube support? I'm glad you asked. Just watch the video on the screen right now on how to contact YouTube support via live chat, email, Twitter, and the YouTube Help Center.